Okay, so we're gonna have some fun now. Now, I have a yardstick, okay, with some weight here. So I want you to make a prediction for me right now. I want you to think about what's gonna happen when we take this yardstick, balance on my fingers, the weight on one end, what's gonna happen when I let go of the yardstick? Heavy end's gonna go down. Heavy end's gonna go down. I'm gonna agree, disagree. I think the other end might go down. I think the other end's gonna go down. The other end might go down. It's longer. It's longer. Okay. Any thoughts? Ready? You ready? Because we're gonna go. It's gonna happen fast. So now, ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Let's. Let's. All right. Now. We're going to take this, our balance stick, we're going to drop one end. What's going to happen this time? Now, so this end's going to drop. Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. So it, it dropped. Now, when one end went down, what happened to the other end? It went, it went up. It went up. Okay. So we had this sort of reaction, right? One thing happened, right? Um, and then something else happened. So as this end dropped down, this end went up. All right, that's pretty useful. We can use that. Can I have another piece of tape, please? So now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add another piece to this. All right, and then I want you to think about what it might remind you of. And then let's see if we can come up with some examples. So we're going to add one more piece. And so now we have our balance stick, which doesn't quite balance, which one end goes down, one end goes up. Uh huh. It's not that on my sleeves. All right. So now, if we balance this here, let's make our. All right. We know what's going to happen to the stick. What's going to happen to the ball? The ball's going to fall. The ball's going to shoot. It'll go up in the air. Go up in the air. Okay. Is Rachel sitting in a good place? Yeah. Are you ready, Rachel? <laughs> Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Hey. We did some work here, didn't we? We made something happen here. We, we, we took our little stick and we launched a ball. If you see this, have, is it, if we've seen things, does anyone have an example of something similar or things you've seen, or does this remind people of anything you may have seen before, played with fun? It reminds me of the chuckets that you throw your dog's tennis ball with. Oh, it's okay. a little bit different, but the same kind of idea. Okay, so but you have a stick and it throws a ball. And it, yeah, yeah, and depending on how, where you release it and how hard you flick it depends on how far it goes and things like that. Okay, so uh, uh, a chuck it, a, a ball la launching stick. Anything else? What else? It's me of when my brother shoots mashed potatoes with a plastic spoon. <laughs> Shooting mashed potatoes with a plastic spoon. Okay. <laughs> what else? She doesn't do Wasn't there an old Roman thing? There's an old <laughs> Roman thing. There was an old Roman thing. And I don't know if it was necessarily just the Romans. Okay. What well, we're going to do today, Monty this Python. a Monty Python thing. <laughs> Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Yeah. This is the basic ingredient to, some, to an old siege engine. And a siege engine was an old warfare tool that was used to launch large boulders, cows, hot oil, all kinds of nasty things to attack castles. Okay? These were big, heavy, clunky things that could do lots of damage. We're going to build one of these today. And the oh. siege engine we're going to build. It's going to make this be fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. But the name of the thing we're going to build is called a trebuchet. And a trebuchet was an old siege engine, like a catapult. You may have heard catapult by the more familiar term. Okay? They worked differently, but were similar in some respects, is that they launched heavy objects. Okay? And the way a trebuchet works, it has a long sort of stick, it has a yardstick with a weight on one end, and by dropping that weight, okay, is it allows it to throw, all right, your, your large boulder, okay? We're going to give you some tools or some the materials to build with. We're going to give you a yardstick just like this. We're going to give you a series of weights, in this case washers. We're going to give you some wooden dowels, which, which you can affix them to, a cup, and here you get a pretty idea. You'll also have a couple of milk jugs. Um, what else do we have? Some tape and other few things. And we want you to build a basic model. You can tinker with it a little bit, but we hope that you can come up with a basic design and we want you to see, can you get it to launch a little marble or a little 
Pit ball paper, actually. Um, <laughs> ball paper. <laughs> All right? So when you get, you get your materials, we're going to watch you to go. You're going to work in groups of three. You will have different roles. Okay, we want one to be an engineer. One is going to be your materials individual. And one's going to be your scout to gather information as you watch. But right now, we want you to get together and build a trebuchet. Okay? Any questions? Okay.